Hi, my name is Attorney Walter Knott, and uh, we're going to be going into an additional five hypotheticals as part of this set of five. And the whole idea of this is that I have to get you to start thinking outside of the box and kind of teach your brain how to come up with ideas. And the whole point of this is to get you ready to go ahead and write a bill that could potentially become law. And we need to think outside of the box to fix the issues of what we have currently in order to have a better system going forward. These hypotheticals help with that. Also, please remember, if you could leave me five stars on AVO, some paper there, on AVO, Better Business Bureau, or you know Google, um, that would really help me out be, uh, with being competitive against these mega big box firms because they just have mega, mega advertising budgets, and I'd really appreciate it. But either way, here is hypothetical set number five. What if hydraulics had never been discovered? Hmm. Now, just so you guys know, hydraulics, that's just, you know, where you've got uh, a tube and another tube, and then there's a, flu uh, a fluid inside them that pushes something out and then retracts and allows that thing to come back in. That's all hydraulics are. We use them because that pressurized system of fluid filling a tube and pushing out a rod, which then, you know, could move a front loader or, you know, a backhoe or whatever, we use it because it's incredibly simple and it's incredibly strong um, for, for the amount of material that basically is utilized there. It's also a really cheap way uh, of doing it other than having to have like some little motor on it, but ultimately everything will be replaced by motors and hydraulics will no longer exist. But um, what if we didn't have hydraulics? So we wouldn't be able to build buildings like we do. A lot of cars uh, that have some sort of uh, hydraulic braking system, the bigger vehicles, but not the big, big ones, but, uh, you know, they would be different. What if gears had never been discovered? Oh, God, if we didn't have gears, we wouldn't have watches, we wouldn't have, and, you know, gears aren't just little cogs, they're, they're all kinds of things, you know. We wouldn't have trucks, cars, we wouldn't have all kinds of things. There's, you know, so many things rely on gears. Spaceships rely on gears. Okay. Um, what if fasteners had never been discovered? Ugh, imagine that, screws, bolts, lags. We wouldn't be able to bring things together of any real serious weight. We'd have to make all this notching system and everything to go ahead and fit it together and then use gravity as a means to hold it together. What if engines and motors had never been discovered? We would be stuck with, well, it depends on how you define engine and motor. I mean, if we don't have that, we don't have an area that rotates a rod. And you may not think rotating a rod is important, but let me tell you this, that's incredibly important. How many generators, snow blowers, cars, vehicles in general? I mean, there's so many things that use the idea of a motor or an engine to be able to facilitate movement or chopping or cutting or whatever. What if lubricants had never been discovered? Well, we would have probably had to figure out some sort of alternative to make all of the pieces more slip oriented. We probably have different metallurgies to get rid of oil so that those, uh, I'm just watching the door because the doggies just opened it. Shadow can open doors, including the front door. But the bottom line is this, we would have a different system and the system would be based on a different metallurgy, allowing more of a, you know, a more fluid slipping me metallic surface to go ahead and make these things work, so. But just start thinking about these things. These are the things that we can use to start opening our mind, to start thinking outside of the box. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Attorney Walter Knott. If you'd like the most up-to-date information, shoot me an email or give me a call, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.